Okay, well, good morning. We're just waiting for the uh, radio station, BBC Radio Guernsey, to give us a call. Um, they're doing a uh, morning show, breakfast show. Um, they've already had a few um, items on the list this morning, and we are a part of that. So, um, welcome everybody. Good morning, and uh, we'll see how it goes when they phone us. Stay tuned, and uh, we'll keep you informed with the how it goes. There they are now. You're all Minutes to eight, Monday the 25th of May, getting outdoors, enjoying our freedom a little bit more, looking ahead. Guernsey's made some real progress in combating the spread of COVID-19. As a result, one of our, our freedoms that's been restored, if I can put it that way, is our ability to get outside for a good amount of time. One islander is using his four hours to an absolute maximum, no doubt. That's Shane White Saunders, and he started a YouTube channel focusing on the great outdoors. Of course, there's plenty to offer, isn't there? Let's speak to Shane now. Good morning to you, Shane. Hope you're well. Why have you decided to set up this channel? Hi, good morning, everybody. Um, I decided to set up this channel because, obviously, um, a lot of people are normally stuck indoors, usually, uh, when when there isn't a virus around. So, um, you know, so, and I've always been an, interested in, in, uh, in the outdoors and uh, I just thought it would be a good idea to record and vlog my experiences outdoors to try and encourage people to get out a bit more as well. Um, and like you say, I have used my four hours to its maximum. Um, so, and I've tried to fit as much in there as I can within those four hours. So. Yeah. I used to be a YouTuber too, Shane, so this is very interesting for me. Tell us how it works, because um, these are totally free videos to watch, aren't they? You can share these videos on any platform at all. Exactly, yeah. Um, so, like, you don't really have to have any specific type of content. Um, it depends on what you're interested in. Um, and then what people find is interesting within your content. I mean, everybody has a chance to be able to do it. Um, there should be no uh, limitations really as, as to what you can do. Um, there's a lot of technology available. You can use your phone. Uh, I use my iPad at the moment, but then again, there are like very cheap um, vlogging cameras coming onto the market now as they're obviously produced so cheaply. Um, I mean, I picked one up for thirty pounds, um, and that will do a lot of my underwater footage. Um, so um, you know, it's it's only what you limit yourself to doing, really. I mean, um, they they do say the old saying is, uh, you know, um, you, you're only limited to what what you want to do like you know so give us an idea of what your videos are going to look like then because you talk about tech how much do you want to focus on editing filters audio i mean it sounds quite professional if you're going underwater well um it's not really it, all it all it includes is just having a, a, a waterproof case for your uh, your camera so, right, so you're not even using a gopro you, you you're putting a camera in some sort of case and down you go are you with your camera when you're underwater um yeah well i could be um it can go up to about uh 60 meters i think it's rated for but like i say it's only a cheap one um it's just a like um cheap one off of amazon it's a dragon touch uh comes with a lot of accessories so you know it's got a full vlogging um accessory kit with it you can mount it on your bike you can you can mount it on your helmet you can you can do all sorts with it like um and it produces a very good quality of, of video um it's not as good as the ipad um so i am a bit apprehensive about taking the ipad down to the beach but uh we have managed and uh i've just got a very basic setup it's just um uh, my ipad on uh on my laser level tripod and and that works sufficient okay how long are your videos are they themed um i yes they are themed um mainly fishing at the moment because obviously when you come into the bushcraft and survival um those videos are going to have to be done more sort of within a longer time limit because you know a four hour survival video in the wild isn't really a survival video if you know what i mean <laughs> um so but um, however, I've, I've touched basis on the on 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 the fishing mainly, 
um, at the moment because obviously that's a skill that you need to hone to be able to survive in the wild um, and foraging as well. Uh, knowledge is a huge, huge and very important aspect of it because without the, the knowledge that we have lost, I mean, we know more about the colour of a celebrity's decor in their living room than we actually know about what's edible on our beach. Right. Um, which is ridiculous when you put it like that. Shane, this could be this could be a really good advert for Guernsey if people from around the world stumble across your videos. Oh, yeah. Um, well, I, I will be touching basis on, um, on the fortifications as well. Um, as a child, I used to go around um, exploring the bunkers and Guernsey militia watch houses and dolmens. So, you know, um, there, there's a lot of things that I think people don't even really know is around, if you know what I mean. Um, they, they might not have ever stumbled across a dolmen. They might not even know that they're here, like, you know. Yeah. You've given us a, quite a good overview of, of what you're hoping to do this this project of yours i don't quite know how big it's going to go is, is this sort of thing i mean potentially a new day job for you oh <laughs> well it's gonna take me a little bit of time to get to that point i can tell you that now because um i've got i've worked out i've got so far about four thousand watch minutes in and i need another two hundred and twenty one thousand to be able to get monetized <laughs> <laughs> Not too far to go. I mean, it'll happen overnight. It could happen overnight if you produce one great video that that, that goes wild. I mean, there you are. You're made, aren't you? Well, it it all depends on how much support the people give me and whether they like me and whether they like my content. Um, you in the videos, then, Shane? Yourself? Yes, I am. Yeah. Um, my son does help me every now and again. Um, so yeah, yeah. All right. How are we going to find these then? Give us some sort of search to. To, to pop into YouTube or, or wherever, where are you going to put them, upload them? Okay, so they're all on YouTube, the vlogging videos, and one way you can find me, um, I checked this out yesterday, um, even if you just typed into Google, Shane's Great Outdoors, um, I should be sort of like third or fourth on the list, um, or just type into YouTube, Shane's Great, Great Outdoors, and it'll also come up on there. Right. Let us know when you've made some progress, Shane. That's our um, bank holiday sorted, isn't it? Shane's yeah. great yeah. outdoors. <laughs> Thank you very much indeed for your time this morning. Really appreciate that. Okay, no worries. Um, exciting stuff, uh, clearly. Um, the main topics then, uh, fairly educational. Um, wild edibles, enjoyed that. And coastal, catching, cleaning, cooking, fishing, foraging, fortifications, as Shane mentioned there. And some of the best views the island has to offer. So that was Guernsey Radio. Hopefully um, we'll get a lot more views and a lot more subscribers and we can keep making great content for you. So um, please like and subscribe, smash that like button. Don't forget to share and uh, we'll keep making lots of great content for you. Thank you. Have a good morning.